my YouTube friends and family. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In today's video, I want to talk about rebuilding Jamaica. So, as you all know, Hurricane Melissa come and gave away a bad beating. Mash up Jamaica, mash up a large percentage of Jamaica. And now, almost two weeks later, we have to think, think about rebuilding. We have to think about picking up the pieces and um, rebuilding. I know we're a strong and resilient people. I know that much. And I know Jamaica will come back better and stronger. That's for sure. I love my people and I believe that we will rebuild and we will work together and um, create a better Jamaica. So with that being said, I know certain, some things will have to change. I know that um, we cannot continue to, to do certain things or to build a certain way so certain building practices will have to change certain places that we choose to build will have to change certain materials that we choose to use to build will have to change um, if it was left up to me to be honest certain places would be um, zoned a no build zone some places people couldn't go back there to build honestly if it's near to a gully you won't be able to go back there to build or you should not be allowed to go back there to build. We have to go find places to move some of these people to and um, build them a nicer and stronger home than what they had before. Um, this might be a norm for us. This might be the new norm for us where every year um, we might have a Category 5 hurricane or we might have a Category 2. I mean, just last year there was Hurricane Burrell. This year is Melissa. We don't know what's coming next so we have to whatever we're building or moving forward we have to have um, we have to think of um, building to withstand a category five hurricane uh, we have to build with flooding in mind we have to build with um, land slippage in mind so moving forward we can build um, the same certain things will have to change um, one thing for sure the, um, the board structures I mean, um, we know so a lot of people poor and um, can't afford um, to build um, a nice concrete structure. But we as a people, we have to go help and um, government have to come in and different agencies have to come in because like we have to give the people in peace of mind. Um, it, I mean, it's, it's I can't foresee a, a, a board structure, a plywood structure withstanding a category five hurricane. That's a no-no. And um, moving forward, like I said, that's a no-no. We have to, we have to build um, with a Category 5 hurricane in mind. So the choice of materials, um, and I know this, it, I know it's easier said than done because um, I know like a lot of areas, why they choose to build with, um, with, with board is because they don't own the land and um, because they don't own the land um, they cannot build a temporary structure they can't build a permanent structure sorry so they just have to build something temporary um, and um, just go, go about their daily lives but um, like I said I don't know how it's going to be done but it has to be done where um, we move these people and um, give them better structures so um, I don't know we, we, we definitely cannot move forward like this um certain certain like even the roofs like if you know you, you live to close to um coastal areas boy i'm gonna, I'm gonna think um i don't think a, a a a timber roof frame house can can withstand all of that close to the um coastal areas so a lot of us might not like the whole concrete roof business some people say it's hot some people say it's ugly but probably at that way I forgot to um, move on to so more and more people have to consider um, decking as we call it the concrete slab roof um, so that's probably gonna have to be the new norm um, for sure and like I said um, some people might not like it but I mean it's that peace of mind at least you know so next year you don't have to deal with your roof um, blowing off again I know in my parents situation last year they lost their roof to um to Burrell and how they described it i did not want them to to go through that again i don't want my parents to go through that again so um, we decided yo we're gonna just use the um slab roof and slab it off and all of that 
So more and more, like I said, more and more people I forgot probably consider that. Even this year, um, during Melissa, what they um, it, what they explained to me or what they um, the story they told me, the, the host was actually shaking. The, the host was actually vibrating. So can you imagine um, the force um, when the breeze come? The force that's um, that's hitting the host, that the host, a concrete structure is actually vibrating. I've ne I've never experienced anything like that before, to be honest. So can you imagine um, a board structure um, holding up to that? That's a no, no. That that's not gonna happen. So that wind, um, the the hurricane come with a lot of force. Um, let's be clear. So even um, with the whole um, can, um, foundation design, like catching a foundation um, just above, um, just below ground level, that not gonna work again either. Um, builders and contractors have to follow um, the plans. Um, definitely moving forward, they have to follow the plans. A foundation should be at least two feet um, below um, ground level. So two feet or dig until you find um, suitable side, soil, um, suitable um, soil. So definitely, them not something that's something that I feel good look on. Um, using um, the proper size steel, um, half inch steel, using uh, vertical bars, uh, I mean horizontal bars. So those are some things um, them have to think about, um, going around ensuring. And that's why I always preach, um, getting a plan i'm not one who i got just build a house i'm not one who say yo just go build because um it stipulates say there's no you can't build a structure without parish council's approval that's one thing i always preach no don't just go build a, a house um, by yourself get a drawing submit it to the parish council have the parish council approve that drawing and then you go ahead and build so moving forward we definitely have to go um, follow the building code, follow the building act, and um, act accordingly. So even the roof designs and stuff, like um, some people, if you do decide that you don't want to go with a um, with a concrete roof slab, slab um, at least no gable roof. And um, I'm going to put up what a gable roof looks like. Uh, the, you know, the church um, kind of design. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. Definitely no gable roof. No gable roof. It's, if it's not a hip roof, don't bother. Um, that's that's one thing I can recommend, a gable roof. And um, the choice of roofing that you put on as well, um, I'd, I would definitely recommend a standing roof seam or the standing seam um, aluminum sheets. That's what I would recommend personally. And um, I would not use any um, any screws. I mean, any nails. I would definitely use screws. So moving forward, that's that's are these things we have to think about. We can't think about you no know, board structure. We can't go think about living close to a gully. We can't go think about living close to a river. Yeah, I know that might sound nice when it's dry, or I'm in drought, and all of them thing there. But when it's time of disaster you first like a washway and you first your house first like a washway and you're gonna left without a home so them the thing that we have to think about moving forward we cannot we cannot build like we used to then um, we have to think about a category five hurricane now moving forward because like i said that might be the new norm so whatever we're building now moving forward i know that the whole goal and the whole aim right now is to get families back under a roof. Yes, that's the that's high importance right now. We need to get the people them back under a roof. Yes, it can be temporary right now, temporary, but it cannot be something permanent. We can't put back the people them on, in a structure where um, it's not safe and it cannot withstand um, certain categories of hurricane. And then you know, um, people decide that them get comfortable again, and then the next hurricane season it blow away again. That cannot be. That cannot be the norm. So we need to build permanent structures, and whatever we're building has to be able to withstand a Category Five hurricane. I know people are suggesting um, the container homes, and um, 
honestly, from my person, I, I don't know. I don't know how it comes. Honestly, I do not know how I feel about this. Um, if it's not something that's that has a foundation and the foundation, because remember, all of this load, all of this force, all of this load has to be transferred to the foundation. So if it's not something with a solid foundation, I honestly would not recommend it. I would not recommend it. Um, we have seen where containers flip and blow up and stuff. Like, we want, we want permanent things for the people. Em. We want permanent things for the people. Em. So I, I'm not one that is gonna recommend a container home. Um, get the people in block block homes. Um, if I, if it's even, it doesn't have to be block. It can be um, you you pour um, you pour the structure. Um, if I've even prefab prefab um, concrete homes, but I would not recommend um, container homes personally, and that's just my opinion. Um, moving forward, like I said, we have to design. Um, we have to design and build. Uh, with a category five, category five hurricane in mind. So that's just my two cents. Um, it's it's just a sad situation for Jamaica, and I'm praying for Jamaica. And um, I know Jamaica will come back stronger and better. Um, we just have to put hands and heart together. We we'll just have to work together and um, make this possible. So. Um, if you made it this far to the, um, if you made it this far in the video, um, I want to say a big thank you. Uh, big up yourself. Um, like the video if you if you found the video um, informative. Like the video. Um, share with a friend. And you ha if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please hit subscribe. So, see you in my next video, guys. Big up.